Welcome to Reading Corner. Today's book is called The Button Box, and it was written by Margaret Reid and illustrated by Sarah Chamberlain. On the cover, we have a boy, and he's opening a box full of colorful buttons. My grandma has a special box. I like to play with what's inside. Can you guess what's inside the box? Wow! Look at all those buttons! Wow! I swirl the bottles around, round, around, and then I pick the ones I like. Ten have flowers painted on them, just like grandma's china dishes. I like to sort them first. Let's count the buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buttons. Next, I look for sparkly buttons. I pretend they are jewels that once belonged to kings and queens and movie stars. Some buttons are covered with clothes, satin, velvet, or corduroy. They make me think of fancy clothes. So here we have the sparkly buttons, and here we have the buttons covering clothes. There are metal buttons from overall and jeans, leather ones from cowboy shirts and sweater. This looks one this looks like one from grandpa's winter coat. Grandma says these small ones come from shoes worn long ago. So here we have metal, leather, the one from grandpa's clothes, and the ones from old shoes. Next, I saw the shiny buttons that come from uniforms. I lined them up like marchers in a big parade. The one with the eagle I call Mr. President. Can you see how many shiny buttons he has? And then the big one with the eagle. I put out all the pearly ones and make a rainbow pattern. When does a little change too big? I can never tell. Some buttons have four holes, some two. Some don't have any ceiling holes. They have shanks instead. These make good eyes on puppets or stuffed animals. So here we have the rainbow pattern. And here we have the buttons with shanks. They don't have holes. Sometimes when grandma sorts with me, we play a special game. We stir the buttons, shut our eyes, and then we each take one. Grandma asks, are they alike? Mine is wooden, so it's hers, both are round and flat. But her is thick and mine is thin. She puts my button on a string. Whirl it around, she says. The string twists up. I pull the ends. We listen to it hum. Can you see grandma's button and his button? Grandma tells me what some buttons used to be. Some were seashells, some were even sand. Big furnaces hate the sand until it melts. When it cools, it's glass. Wooden buttons come from trees. Deer shed their antlers every winter and grow new ones in the spring. I like the buttons made from their old horns. So some buttons were seashells, some buttons are made of glass. Some are made of wooden, some are made of antler. When it's time to put the buttons back, I pretend I'm very rich, counting all my gold. I like to feel the buttons then, the bumpy and the smooth. I like the way the sound, click it, tap it, 
falling through my fingers one by one into the box. Then grandma puts the box away where it will wait till next time. I wonder who first figured buttons out. Do you know one thing? My grandma used to have a button box just like this. And she gave some of her buttons to me. We're going to use it later on an activity because I want to share with you what my button box looks like. Do you have a button box on your home? See you soon, baby cakes!